Hello and welcome to Wise Exotics. Um, we are currently in the outdoor greenhouse. You will recognize I just put my Helmophoria sun pitcher right here, hoping it will do a little better. I can also spray it really quick with sulfur on those dead pitchers. So let's do a quick overview of how everybody's been doing. I'm going to turn off this fan that's next to me right now. I have a lower fan now. It's neon pink, so I can always find it. It's constantly pushing air between two cool points. Now, some of you will notice I've expanded on the greenhouse a bit. New little tray system, which also has a water uh, reservoir below there. So, doing the best I can. I'm going to keep that fan on low, just so it keeps circulating. So we're going to go and break this down from, pretty much this is like critical to not, to super critical plants, to non-critical way. <laughs> Okay, so this right here, first off, I've got two of these here and here. These are both Clipiated Cross Bong, so these were actually an accidental breeding. Uh, I have its sibling right here that also has a basil coming in. Um, they were seed siblings. They were doing really good, and I decided to try them. It's got that beautiful Clipiated shaping to it. Nice red coloring. Uh, it's either Jacqueline or Bong Cell, and comparing color to leaf, me and the guy who sold me these, he sold it as a, I believe it to be, Clipiata across uh, Jacqueline, but when I purchased him and checked it, it was re revealed that it's more than likely Bong Cell. Uh, super healthy growth points on all of them. These are the seed siblings, these are not basils. I thought they were basils, and then I pulled them out. Now, moving up here, this is one of my little favorite plants. One of my, so all my favorites are these three right here. I feel very sad to say it like that, but it's true. So this is my Clipiata. This is grown from seed. Two Clipiatas that were bred together, Nepenthes Clipiata. Uh, they are critically endangered in the wild. My hope is to get this one tall, big, large, whatever you want to call it, grow it up, get enough basils, and maybe try to donate some of them back uh, into the wild same thing with a few of these plants. Now this one, I really just want to see how this turns out because I've seen the parent plant. This is a clone. This is not from seed. It is a Raja Edwardsiana. It is beautiful, huge red pitcher with teeth. So it looks like someone took a Edwardison and stretched it a bit to look more like a diabolic. Uh, it's really interesting. I really want to see it grow healthy. Um, current, I'll, I, I always feel it reading this, this is a Nepenthes Albomo, Albomarginata red, they have a small white lip that goes around the plant that attracts uh, termites, it's doing really well, uh, here is either an Alata or a Ventrata, the seller sentiment wasn't really sure, and since it's so small, I'm pretty sure it's a Ventrata due to the ribbing on that one, but you never know. Now, I thought this was only one plant when I got it. As you can see, Loei Vichia, Cross Bashiana, Cross Vichia, Maxima, Cross Vichia, Bloody cow. this is another super complex hybrid. Um, it was sold to me as a single plant right here, but when I was going to start cleaning this up, I found a second one that's not a basil, so it's a seed sibling, so I actually got two for the price of one. So, yay, people not, um, checking things. Now, as I did say in my last video, I did lose my Diabolica. My seed-grown Macrophilia, on the other hand, is doing exceptionally well. Look at this. I already got a new pitcher, a new leaf, and a growth tip again. It, it's doing extremely, sorry, extremely well. The moss in with it is also a problem. I have to snip the moss down pretty often. It grows rather uh, vigorously, I should state. Okay, so moving on. Uh, to again recap, this is kind of a big update. Put that back in. I can bump that up one. Okay, so on updates, my plants seem to be growing really fast. <laughs> They're not supposed to be. Uh, so, coming from this corner, this is my Peltata, Nepenthes Peltata. You can see it right there. It's a clone. Um, I had it, had no growth tip. Look at that. It already has a beautiful growth tip popping out. Nice big picture. I don't know what I did right. I'm just going to accept it. 
Uh, my Hamada is doing really well. I did trim off uh, the dead older pitcher. It's got two new leaves, a leaf, a growth tip, so it's only got two so far. So it's sister here, I guess, because this is an AW1, this is AW2, which is a female, confirmed. I know the AW, I think it was three, was confirmed to be male. I haven't got one. I would love to get one of each, but in terms of Hamadas, they're not really anything different. Uh, let's see. She's doing really well. I did have to trim off her pitcher because it got too hot and got scorched. So I started dying really quick, but she does have a new leaf. She has a new growth tip. Doing really well. Keeping her there. I got her on a pretty good deal for about a hundred bucks. Can't really complain. Same thing with this one, about a hundred bucks. So, what they're worth. On reflection, about two hundred plus on average. Can't really complain. I don't know why this is fine. Okay, so this is a Robocanthe slash Ovata, and I really like this species because not only do they have these nice little ribbing here, they flare out and get a gradient of color. So with me, it had no growth tip, now it's got a growth tip, doing really well. As you can see, the leaves were not really happy when I got it. Uh, this is a Singulana Diabolica. I lost the big pictures it had, and they were huge. So it looked like Diabolica with metallic teeth coming out. It was so pretty. Very sad. Um, that I lost those pictures. It's already got a new leaf, a new growth tip, it's doing really well. It hasn't really pictured for me since. Uh, but if you're familiar with Diabolica, Macrophilia, and all those others, they're very slow growers. Um, these are my Conte's Vivid Machine A and B, because I can't discern them. It's other than place. Uh, they're growing very well. And the Pinthes Vivid Machine, if you will give me that. No, that's Jolly Sculpture, excuse me. Which is Jungle Bell Sibulonsensis. That one has its first picture, I believe, somewhere. Yeah, it was at the bottom, but it, it it's another one. It just does these small little bell ones and they go away. Uh, here it is, A. So, as you can see, A has this huge leaf, or B has a slightly smaller leaf, but it has two of them, so... Uh, it's got its first kind of nice, decent picture coming in. This is a Telogenes Klaus Klandiflora Klaus Vici. I'm not really sure what it'll look like when it's an adult, but it has really pretty uh, speckled pictures. This is my pure Vici, Nepenthes Vici Big Mama XP Candy. It was on sale a week. Uh, this is my Cephalotus. As you can see, it was just that single cluster there, and I have one big mature leaf. Uh, picture. I actually have another one on the other side. It's doing really well. I now have non-carnivorous leaves, which I thought took a long time to get, but you can usually grow those to make uh, new clippings, cuttings. These like little gnats in here. This is a Aristocross Diabolica. This is a one that I had a lot of problems with initially because of the cold. Uh, I kept having it bounce back and forth, but now it's got a nice good growth tip, good leaf. Doing well. I'm not really sure what that one is. This is a car 0066. Interesting. I believe that's a Minina S. Mollus. Penthes Exotics. EdenExotics.com sold me. Uh, it's an Apenches Burgundy Exterophilia. This is an interesting little picture. I bought this one from eBay, which is funny because now it's a Flore. I didn't notice that. When I initially started buying these, I was just more just trying to find certain species or found ones that looked kind of neat. This is a Pure Maxima. It's finally got its first larger pitcher, nice large leaf, doing really well. I'm hoping to try to convert that one to Grotside because I've heard a lot of people have had luck with that. Um, this is an Aristocross Mata. As you can compare it to the Diabolica, very similar coloring, but this one's usually a darker red. Also, it grows a lot slower, as you can clearly see. So I don't know the things. I've actually got my second picture here. It's very cute. It's starting to turn red. It has some black spots on it, but I've tried to clean them off. I believe they're just permanent at this point, because you can see all the new growth has been totally clean and happy. I seem to be rescuing plants more than I intend to. Uh, this is one that hasn't actually given me a picture yet, so I'm really excited to see that it's got this little tubby one right here. This is a uh, belly eye, uh, belly eye cross, low eye cross ventricosa, and it, it was confirmed to be a male. It's also got another picture way off there. 
This is so far my only fatality for this month. Probably like fatality. There are three plants in there. Um, so there used to be a huge long uh, vine basil on this. And I don't know what happened. All the other plants in here were fine, but the basil climbed over. You can watch my older videos and see it. It was just hanging down. And the whole thing was barbecued and melted. I don't know what happened to it. These are Billy Eye Cross Aristo. I really like that I have two seed siblings next to each other. You can clearly see like this one's thicker and bigger and always grows to the side and slower growing, where this one's really fast growing. And you're smarter. But I like that the color on this one is a brighter red. And as you can see, it, it, it's had its new little picture here just popping. It's really happy. Um, that's a Vichii Loei Mira. It's this has been a weird one. It ha it came with two. One died, and the other one's still alive. It's got a nice picture growing under there. Uh, truncata, which is an all green truncata. I don't know what specific region it is. That's a truncata. That's another complex item. It's truncata raja. Uh, Mirabilis, Mirabilis, Truncata, Raja, Mira, and then cross with Thimbleton. It's a very vigorous plant. I have literally never had to trim a pitcher off. They keep for extremely long times and it grows constantly and I never lose a leaf either. So, very vigorous. Uh, Glaminiflora. I really like my Glaminiflora. It's a small little plant. Cute little brown and black pitchers. Uh, that is a Smiley X Maxima. As you can see, it's got a nice new picture here. You can see an older picture, usually these turn red. They have this nice scarlet coloring on them. This green stripey, this will usually flare out to redder, tanner colors. So this one just opened and it's just starting to get speckling and striping now. So usually they do this and they kind of shoot up a bit more. So it'll get a little taller. That's about the size I had when I first got one of these. And then it wasn't happy and it kept doing smaller ones. I'm not sure if it was cold or something else. Still kind of, you know, investigating on it. So now we're going to go into this area. So this is sectioned out into, like, Spectabilis crosses, Raja crosses, and kind of... I can't remember what the hell it is, crosses. Um, so I'm putting the Helium Leofora here. I'm hoping it does well. It's not been happy. It got damaged in shipping, and I let them know, as you can see. I have the exact whatever it is. Uh, Ventrata I have, which is a, as you can see, the color. It's a reddish with, like, a yellow rim just finally got its first mature, and I call it mature because it looks like a Ventrata pitcher. Uh, still hasn't got any color in it, so very subtle color, but extremely uh, vigorous in growth. Very. I got it, it was down to there, and now it's got these huge leaves coming out, so I'm expecting some really large pitchers. Its mate here, or friend next to it, is a Glaminiflora across Berbergidae. Berbergidae? I can't say Berbergidae. Or big dicky, can't say it. You can read it, so. Really has a lot of traits from Glaminiflora. Each of these spots are why it was called, because those are gland points. I like the striping, the little red sheen it's got going there. Good color, good spots. I'm just getting a growth tip here on it. This is a Dactyph Dactyphila, which was formerly Fusca. Um, if you're not really familiar with Fusca, that was a plant that was rediscovered, and then the other plant that was named Fusca was split into two different categories. This is one of those categories, so this is Dactyphil Lyria. Uh, this is Nepenthes Raja Brigadi. I really like this one's picture also. Nice little squat picture, good coloring, stripes, tubby little spots, very red. Almost like it's got uh, a little yellow gun there, but... Again, very happy new leaf on it. Already coming in really strong with a new picture, a new growth tip. I uh, want a bunch of these off of the Flore Collab uh, drip. Moving down, uh, this is a Vici Aloe across Clipiata. As you can see, I got a huge leaf chump. Because I've been getting nothing but that, that size. This is double the size of my other leaves. Very long lasting pitchers, they're bright green. That is from Seed. This is a Spectabilis Ventricosa, which is also from Seed. And I've seen the seller who sold me this. He's the same one as you can see with the pattern of brown. All my Clipiatus came from him. His name is Talar. Very nice person. Uh, he grew this himself with his own. This is his own personal cross, the Spectabilis Ventricosa. I've seen some of these where they're brown, but they have these extremely red lips with, like, yellow stripes. So I don't know why mine 
came out differently, or maybe it's just young. But again, very vigorous, good leaf jump on it. Um, hotter weather seems to trigger a hormone growth within Nepenthes. It's not always a good thing, mind you, but it does help. So this is a Vichy Loe Spectabilis right here. Spectabilis have this weird method, and I was talking to someone in Japan. Uh, I've been following, and they follow me back. They're the nice people. Um, that Spectabilis like to curl and do these weird, like, where you would see that this goes straight up. Spectabilis like to just kind of neural into itself, as you can see. So this is a Vichii Spectabilis here, BE3664. I finally lost the big picture on that. It's all sad, but I've got plenty of pictures. It's slow to grow, but they last while. I have come to the conclusion that this, which is I have labeled as an unknown plant, sorry, a little gnat just landed on my screen. Uh, this is a, I believe it to be a Spectabilis cross maxima or a Spectabilis cross truncata due to this heart shape, which only certain plants have. Uh, it was sold to me as an unknown, and I just realized I have to cut that off. That is cracked. So, no point in wasting, you know, nutrients toward it. Now we're gonna move our way back this way. I'm gonna get down here. I turn off the fan next to me. So right here, this is Mira, Nepenthes Mira. Very cute. I like the coloring. Uh, two good new leaves so far, and a new growth tip. Very happy. I'm still waiting on a new plant. I have two there coming. Diata, I believe. I have a seed ground and a clone. I wanted to grow them for comparison. Raja, cross for Burgundy, cross Eduardesiana. Very nice. Let's get these tall little pictures. So you can tell it's cross with Eduardesiana, but the overall. Coloring seems to be something else. This is Nepenthes Raja Mira. I really like Raja, if anybody is wondering. <laughs> Raja seems to be my favorite of the Nepenthes. I like the teethy ones. I would like to get a Raja cross Velosa. Uh, this is a Raja Ima. I've been growing it. As you can see, I got a third leaf, and I've got my first new embryo coming. I don't know what happened, the other ones didn't grow. This one's doing really well. Uh, this is a Nepenthes Peltata Raja, BE4510. The plant that this is based on same parentage, Grex-wise, is called Leviathan. It is the most expensive plant ever sold. Carnivorous, I believe, for $4,000. This one, I got it. Uh, it had one little picture that was very pretty. They're red with like a blue inner if you look inside like the picture here, it would be blue with red speckling, almost like a matte, fake blue. But it, it was striped, it's beautiful, I can't wait to see them. I've got a few new picture embryos coming that look happy. Okay, take that back. Uh, new growth tip, seems to be really happy. Um, let's see, so, so far, Diata, I believe, and... The Velosa are the only three plants I'm waiting for. Uh, there was one more. Oh, I got a Raja cross Loei cross Vichii coming as well, which uh, it's plant number one, I believe, of the clones, which is the redder one. It looks more like a Raja with stripes, so I think that'll be neat as well. I'll do an update when those come in. I hope this has given everybody a good... Uh, perspective of the collection so far. I grow this for my own amusement and I just really like my plants. It's also very relaxing to be in here. Um, one of the new distilled waters I've been getting is Niagara. Works really well. I have a bucket down there. I might have to fill that with that soon. I think that's my last water bottle and I have to go out and get some more later. One of the things you can do is you cut that water with that water so it's within the same healthy range. This is pure. Um, let's see, I also do Maxi. Maxi seems to be one of the best ways to help these grow. I tried Osmocotes and I've heard other people like them. But one of the things I notice if you put them in like say a newer pitcher, that newer pitcher will vaporize. If it's not a mature pitcher, it doesn't do well. And even if it's 
those osmocotes are all supposed to be the same, they each are different sizes, and the, the amount they release at a time seems to be varied. So, thanks for stopping by Wise Exotics, and I hope my little plant collection is, you know, entertaining or helps you learn some things. Thanks for stopping by.